Second Chronicles chapter 18 from verse 28 to the third verse of chapter 19. <laughs> Powerful Father, we want to enter into your words. You are the words. In the name of Jesus, let explain yourself to us. Make light shine above each of us. As to see you. May each of us understand it in the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord that we read together, together with the wisdom and the power of the Lord that abide here, the wisdom of God, His power, both of them dwell here. And uh, pave the way to us. But we shall trust God more than anything else in this world. Each of us, with the strength that we got, we shall seek God through His Word in this life. Because there is no liar in his truth. His truth. There is no iota of liar in his truth. And uh, to act passing by his word, no one can do it. Whatever may be the wisdom of that person, he will never do anything without the words of God. So, we understood it yesterday that the Lord revealed things to people. He make meeting on behalf of someone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you understand? So we are observing the revelation that he showed to his uh, Micaiah. They want to override him. They want to overpass this vision. They set up their wisdom Wisdom coming from the king. Crown, having crown, wisdom. Oh, we are also powerful before being appointed by the Lord. Oh, we also are powerful. Oh, we shall demonstrate this power. We will demonstrate how skillful we are this morning. I beseech through Jesus, all of us, be we children and great persons, to remove all our wisdom coming from this world down. Let put aside and put down every power abiding each in each of us. If not, oh, we will miss 
many things before God. We will wonder. We will be sitting by the important thing that is, and we will miss a lot of things. Because we started setting up the wisdom coming from this earth. But me and uh, we don't focus our ears to the heavenly wisdom. And we don't practice what the Lord has commanded. Observe what kind of wisdom that the one who is uh, in adversity with God has set up. Achabu. Achab. Observe what he has set up. Do you see his plan? He told Josaphat, the one who should bring him to the battlefield, you stay in your robe, in your king robe. I myself, I will disguise myself. But, and I will dress up as a soldier. Is he intelligent or not? Yes, he is intelligent. He show how wise he is. He show us how cunning he is. Now, in order when he will wage war in the battle he shall come back home since the word the voice of the Lord said once you show up to the battlefield you will never come back if you go to that field you will never come back living but he said in, in his felt self, but he said in himself that oh this one a vain voice what I heard if I go to the battle I shall come back but then and the way by which he shall succeed I won't dress up in my king dressing. I will put down all my king dresses. I will disguise as a soldier. And we will go to fight to the battlefield. He trusts himself. He rely on what he has got. He rely on the strength that he got in his arm. His arm. How he know how to manipulate weapons. How many people his sword shall crush down. He observe and analyze all those things. And said in himself that what the Spirit of the Lord has prophesied will never happen. It won't happen with him. He doesn't know God. And uh, he don't want to know God. It's a very bad. That you have been created by the Lord. He set you up. After establishing you. And set you before him. And you are before his sight. And you ignore him. And you don't want to know God. 
If he wants to know God, and get ready for that one, he will believe and receive that prophecy. He will beseech the Lord. He will get conscious. He will humble himself before God and uh, take conversation with God. Seriously. In truth, but not in liar. But he sat before God and ignored God. He sat before God and don't recognize God. He is a kind of man that passed over God. And the, the wrath of God aroused. He didn't arrange himself. He didn't humble himself. He rubbed himself up. This is what no human should, should do. Whatever may be your position in this world, you shouldn't be egoistic before God. How he set you up, how he make you grow, as he helped you to be powerful doing things, as he make a reputation, a, a good repute over your name, you shouldn't be egoistic and uh, be worldwide. You should get conscious and uh, be humble. And uh, you shall string yourself. At that moment, the one who hasn't got any wisdom is very small in your life. They undertook the way. They undertook death way. They undertook the way of shame. They undertook the way by which things they will be wandering and before and have wonder. They don't lift up the power of the Lord. They don't glorify God, the name of God, before his truth. They dispute, quarrel, and fight with that truth. This is what they have done and undertook the way in misery. Mm? It's not the blessed one going. No, they were. They undertook the way as unlucky. You're going blessed, and you're coming back also blessed. That what? This is what they undertook. Did they do so? You and I this morning. What are we? set up before on the way. Such is the way Achab and Jehoshaphat did. You see verse. They remove the glory of the Lord from their life. Someone was ashamed of his neighbor and didn't bring his neighbor to practice the truth of the Lord. They hear about the truth that will bring about life salvation to them. Nevertheless, they let it down. 
and what is uh, appealing them the evil that is calling them the death that is calling upon them they responded to that one only and they started following it we shall pray may the ears of our soul never listen to the appeal coming from the death but lucky never be speaking and uh, to respond to that appeal if the ears of a soul starting listening, listening to the death appeal, the truth of the Lord started becoming little and little and very little. The truth of the Lord never becomes something good. It doesn't have any value. It's those kind of people who used to express themselves in this way. Church. Or simple church. church. Going to church only. Oh, we are never indulged in going simply to church. In which are they abiding now? They enter death. Repeat it. They enter death. And the church becomes something simple. We are never inside a useless church. Useless, simple, negative church. Oh, gospel of God, word of God. We will feed ourselves up with this word. Will this one, you will be fed up? You will feed yourself with it? Those one hearing the voice of a deaf and uh, shameful things, they diminish and undervalue the word of God. They never see the scriptures of God as God before themselves. And the power of, of God, that is the portion, they pass by this power. They can have this power. Because the observation and the expectation toward the gospel of God doesn't comply with the God's rules. Blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-
used to tell blasphemies against the word of God. Achabu betolewe. They, are, they belong to the kind of Achab people. You know those kind of people, Achab. They hear about, they listen to the voice of death. The death call upon them, saying that, come out and meet me. And I will swallow you and bring you. Come to meet me. I will hit you. Come to meet me. And tumultuously they get out and meet death. And listen. The confidence that they had in themselves was put away and they started crying. The trust that they have in themselves and the power and all those things that upon which they rely to demonstrate remove by and they started weeping, crying may Jesus forbid with headstrong, being headstrong and they bring about tears. Headstrong or being disobedient that bring about a very gloomy thought. Thoughts. And I'm a little if you don't, don't, if you don't want to have increasing thoughts, the manner by which you are using the, the year going on till we reach out the half of this year. You shall pray in that sense and use in a way that the remaining six months coming be successful to you. We hear about this revelation revealed through Micaiah. And through this vision, it said that the population, the inhabitant, were like lambs and sheep without shepherd. Did you hear? Hey. Yes. Ah. Did you hear about or read about the commandment given that king that those one who shall go to battle shall only fight the king only, but to let down the, all the populations, we should fear God. Shouldn't we? Yes, we should. <laughs> Observe the plan coming from God. This is what he prophesied through his servant Micaiah. And this servant told all the other population to go home freely in peace, to enter the houses in peace. The one he's seeking, 
He has touched him. He has caught him. How God is revealing and the see each of us this morning. Will he bring about war against us or peace upon us? He addressed war upon Achab. He was minus with the help that he got together going to the fight. This one constitutes one. Observe quite well if King Jehoshaphat will be saved through this ordinance. See. Listen. The one who look like the king, it is that person that I would like you to kill. It's been clearly that you should let down soldiers. We don't need them to kill them. But by fighting, waging war, so let us grow greater in that fight. Till reach out the king and kill him. We are seeking the king. How wonderful the Spirit of the Lord works. The Lord upon his throne, do you see how, how wonderful he works? If he, if he has to do with you, you will never override it. What he has planned upon someone and under this son, the Lord will override it doesn't exist. We shall strive the way by which we shall collaborate and be together with him. This is what we shall seek. He will set up peace and send his peace upon us. And uh, will get up and make strength our peace among those things that used to spoil peace. So if King Acab were intelligent, who won't display himself as a king before God. Oh, I am the king and I'm commanding. I'm acting according to the crown that I got on my head. What kind of, what kind of crown do you have, my brother? Remove all your crown day and night before God. Under that condition, the Lord Jesus will take the crown and put it on your head. Someone who is crowned by the Lord Jesus will never be put to shame. Open your crown and set it up before his feet. Bow down before him. In order to make him crown you. Your, all your days will go through wonders and miracles. All your days will fill up with miracles. And you will be surrounded by victories under that condition. Your life will be very hard like a hill or mountain. You will be like mountain. 
Verse the sand or hill that we call you will be diminished or move away by the morning dew. Kosu kosu ya ko bute do so go yin ko yin alo yin so ko ga ya. When the termites mix up sand and put it on the mountain, does it mean that there are also mountain? The source that will pass by mountain will wash it away. Can the source move but that now, mountain? But now, let the Lord transform your life in that circumstance. You will be the glorious coming from the heaven. It won't be a glory coming from this earth. Glory coming from this earth never lasts. It doesn't move forward. It vanish. But the glory coming from heaven, from the Lord, never vanish. You will be that person held by the Holy Spirit and he will be using you. The, the thought of the Lord will be the good one upon you. The thoughts of the Lord will set up good, 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 only good upon you. You won't, you will never be, be put to shame. The plan, the thought of the Lord will never make you get into bad thing. Never. Those one loved by the Lord, don't we hear what the Lord used to tell over the life? If all the moment are tormenting them, don't you hear what he said? Do not fear. Do not fear all those moments coming before you. Trust me. Rely on me. I'm here. I'm here. Be confident. I am here. Don't take into account all those bad moments passing by, thinking that I, God, am not beside you. No. I know correctly what I have to do. And listen, I have a good plan upon your life. It's not an event, bad event and moment that has control upon your life. No. It's I, God. It's I, God, who had planified something upon you. The, the plan is very good. Do not, be, do not get into trouble. Do not... Uh, agitation. Yeah, do not agitate. Thank you. Do not be in agitation. Do you understand? Be cool, be confident. And be the observing thing with your eyes. And observe what my hand will start doing. This is the voice of his friends. His friends. That is the portion. But his enemies. He set war upon their life to be pursued by war and fight. And they can never override that battle. They won't, be, they won't survive 
Because God is fed up with them. He doesn't, he doesn't want anything coming from them. All together as we are. Do we constitute a kind of first to the Lord or the Lord will remove us from his throat? Do you understand? If someone is important to the Lord, it's another affair. If someone is not important to his neighbor, it's another affair too. See. Listen. Together, all of us, this morning, are we among the category of those one that the Lord is seeking as if God is a thirsty and we constitute the water that the Lord will be drinking. The water that the Lord will be drinking. If we can be so this morning, or oh, we are all fortunate this morning. If you children will become fortunate to him, from your childhood, the voice of the Lord will meet together with you. You young people, if you can have this vision, the Lord will be together with you since your childhood. It won't be sins that will talk together with you. It's not be headstrong that will bargain. What will bargain together with you? Many people, they let themselves to those things. They don't hold their life to the good things. Why are we going to show up in this world and become the one that the Lord will fight? And uh, contrary to this, he will be together with us during the fight. When God is together with ones in the battle, that is what is good. But to become your enemy and fight you, this one is very bad. It's not good at all. This is what Acab did. This is what Acab wanted. By being before God, this is what he had become too. This is what he was. But anyway, anyway, so quick, quick. And uh, this one met him. He miss. He undermine. He under us. Yeah. He make God equal to himself. And see himself that he is the powerful one. And he need anything else. He is everything together. Can a human being living on this earth dedicate himself as the one who has everything? He is everything together. Can he? If a human being lived that kind of life 
Can he be in peaceful way with the Lord? One of the things become very trouble, troublesome. Because he did not believe. How much more those one who believe who behave in that situation, in that way, facing God, their different properties and affairs started decreasing, decreasing, decreasing till they fell down. Do not allow this one happen to you today. Enter the wisdom of God. Ask for the, the wisdom of God in order to make him give to you. He used to give wisdom. The one who asks after, receive, he provides. Take heed. They were on the battlefield. At the battle, Something very bad was about to happen. And uh, we see through this one that God used to remember good for the one who used to practice good. The one who is obedient to him and uh, seeking for the favor of God. When he gets into trouble, compassion coming from God cover him. That's why let be in looking for the favor everywhere we are in that sense. Everywhere we are on this earth, do not say in yourself that God is not abide you beside you. Do not say that no one see me. Do not, see, do not say there is no elder. Do not say so. Ages, rock of ages, abide with you. Elder of elders beside, is beside you. The Spirit of the Lord abide beside you. Your Jesus is beside you. Be living and be seeking the favor of the Lord every time. When the death does, that doesn't belong to you comes, you will be saved. The misery that doesn't belong to you comes, you will be saved. The sickness that doesn't belong to you, you will be healed. The poverty that doesn't belong to you, face you, you will be delivered from it. The Lord used to save his writers. He used to save them. That's why let's read verse 31. We are going to be able to and when the captains of the chariots saw Jehoshaphat, they said, It is the king of Israel. So they surrounded him, turned to fight against him. And Jehoshaphat cried out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Lord helped him. 
Sonny. But she way ya we wa vun vun ye, e vun vun, e vun vun me ele de ele. Mwa kwa gbe ye ton dali. She way ya we jete ye. Bo ken me lo le se son ego. By shouting, God drew them away and make them collapse from him. Me okon nune, me ke nante we. Stop. Me okon lo. Do you see the event? Oku boe ka eku ma boe. Eh? Was he not surrounded by death or not? Oh, come on. He was already dead. Do fie. I want to tell you how to make it. I want to go to the end of the day. Because the moment you are surrounded by soldiers, just they will kill you. But I want to go to the end of the day. And by crying once, I don't see you in the end of the day. God demonstrated himself. It's not his bodyguard that demonstrated anything. It's not his fighters, his soldiers that he was going together that demonstrated anything. It's not the elders that sat surrounded him that saved him. The day when a man cannot save you exists before each of us. Your father will never deliver, can, can never deliver you. Your mother can never deliver you. Your junior, your senior brother. Your your sin your senior son can never deliver you. Do you understand? Either brother. He, he can't save you. Oh, Your genius brother can never save you. Your sister. Your sister can never save you. They can't. Oh, they run about and uh, get into nakedness. What shall we do now? What can we use? How can we manage and save him from it? After, after heating in the north, after bumping in the south and west, well, get well close together and uh, say one's place. There will be very sad in misery. Their face will be darkened. They will be withered and very sad. Say, listen. They are the people who don't want to be able to it depends the way by which you are living with your God that will save you. The way by which you collaborate the Holy Spirit that can save you. To be the one who will cry out and will be listened by God, it depends on you. Jehoshaphat was not the one was not like those one who are following him that he brought to the battlefield he was not like him he doesn't look like him as an unfaithful way he doesn't look like him in his heart he doesn't be like him as the one who hide himself under God. The one who take God as his refuge during the hot event at that day when he cried out, God listen. At the moment who will be lift up or crushed down when he cried out, he is listened to. Another person name is Ezekias. He is a king. But he 
took God as his refuge. He doesn't take into account the crown given by God on this earth. They know what they receive from God. What they receive from God and their own personality took God as their refuge. They hide themselves under God. That's why on the evil day, on the very bad day, their voice had have been heard by God. Facing troubling event, God's help came to them. God's compassion raised rouse up on his throne and save and deliver him. The Lord demonstrated his power and drew away all his killers. He hasn't changed at all. It's at your own time what is seeking you to kill you in the name of Jesus, be sure that God will provide help. Do not fear, but take God as your refuge. It will be very good. After being saved, delivered, a holiday, the king that disguised himself fighting as a soldier, see, listen, and see what God did. What the Lord did with him, and let's recognize that the voice of God is never turned into vain. The voice of the Lord upon your life is not in vain. Do not turn it into vain thing. And see that it's very vain. If you do so, you will see its accomplishment. It can be a good accomplishment or a bad accomplishment. You will see it. After seeing it, after devaluating it, what benefits can you get from this one? What benefit can you get it? Let's go through the 33, verse 33. At that moment, a certain man drew his bow at a venture. Listen. That bow that has been struck we at a venture, it is that bow that the Lord guided and struck that person, listen. This bow or arrow struck the king of Israel between the scale armor and the breastplate. 
Oh, he trusts that breast plate. Oh, what can pass through this breast plate? Oh, I can't be. I, I cannot be killed. Oh, I cannot be killed. Oh, swab can pass through this breast plate. Even arrow can never pass through. Does it work? Yes. He wore, he, he bore all of the armor and the breast plate, nevertheless, he was killed. Hmm? Nevertheless, he never survived. Do not trust the things on this earth that we used to get in order to override death. Do you hear about it? Things with which a juju or talisman on this earth never be never override God's accomplishment. Let's stop doing and uh, making God get a quarrel or anger against us by acting in a hidden way by arousing God rough. And listen to what the king who is fighting said. He said, Oh, I was wounded. I got hot. Remove me from the battle. He see his house afar but he can't enter that house. He see all his Debia and uh, all those people. No one can draw near to do anything to him. The Lord has blocked him. The Lord blocked him. But Syria told And uh, he was blocked by the Syrian army till tweet light. And uh, he lost a lot of blood. And he died. 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 He didn't reach out his home when he saw that he was wounded and uh, he lost his life. Because he swore to reach that house, but at the moment, he was not able to reach that house. Oh, my people, don't be there telling blasphemies against God. Let's stop that blasphemies. It is God who constitutes our peace. It's a he who is our victory. And it's a he who, at a certain moment, when we got into trouble, facing bad event, it's only God who can change things and save us. Let no one seek, lose, lose respect, lose respect to God by setting bad things upon his face. Okay. Miss patient, miss disobedience before him. Let go slow. In order to allow our pagan families to get repentance. 
to receive salvation. Our people to receive re repentance. <laughs> salvation. You understand? At the moment we'll be observing things, good things of God coming from God upon our life, will they desire or not? Yes, they will desire. Let's go to the 19th chapter and uh, listen to what he said. After Joseph had returned, he returned home in peace by praising and giving thanks to the Lord. After returning, did you hear what the voice of the Lord told him? Do you hear should you help the wicked and love those who hate the Lord the one who hate the Lord you will you help him I get angry against you by doing so you help the one who hates me. The one who is defeating or waging war against me. You are helping the latter. Are you going to do so? Act in that sense? You, as you are with me, and those who hate me, those who are my enemies, I see you among them. That's why I like to speak to you on that sense. I got angry <laughs> with you on that aspect. May God forbid. We who used to have pity by giving things to people, what happened here is to bring about sadness and wrath but, upon his life. But today, but I don't my the one who took God as his refuge, the one who used to hide himself under God, it is the latter to whom he has to have compassion. You understand it? Is it I who said so? It is God. Recognize what the passage is saying. In order not to make wandering or misery rousing against you, and you will be working without success. The one who hates me, should you help him? But Jehu the son of Hanani, the seer, 
went out to meet him. And he said to King Jehoshaphat, Should you help the wicked? Will you love those who hate the Lord? Because of this, wrath has come down out against you. Shiba. Nevertheless, Some good is found in you. No. For. You destroy the idols out of the land. Oh. Okay. And have set your heart to seek God. You want to see God. And uh, you are working for that reason. This one is uh, something very good that I see in your heart. But recognize that you make me get anger, hungry. Because the one beside whom you shouldn't be, you were beside him. The one to whom you shouldn't use the power that I give you, you use it to him. Men hold on here, hold on are they talking about who? Who are they talking about? It is Acab. Why did he go there? And let's observe what, how humble he is. Did he say something? Did he say something here? Did he say something here? Did, did he say something when the, the Lord revealed through his uh, prophet Micaiah about what he told him? Did he say something? Amen. May the Lord dedicate the one that we shall meet in order to make him pleased all the time as we are going. In brief, we won't go further. Recognize your role and what concerns you. And be conscious how God will dwell in your in your different days. And the way you shall behave, and they shall be so for you. Act. Act, work for that reason. Was it bad or good concerning the case of Josephat here? Didn't his life was different from that of Acab or not? Did they get the same portion? Let the Lord see a good thing in your life. The Lord examine each of us and see what kind of good abide in him. A very good thing abide in you. Repeat it. A good thing abides in my life. No, do more afon afon. Repeated each morning. And uh, repeated every 
night. When we will start waging war or fighting through a jealousy against your husband or your wife, you will get humble, you will humble yourself. If you want to say something evil against your neighbor, when you remember that word, you will get inside, you will humble yourself. The Lord shall see all his goods in my life. And he will see me through his compassion. He will observe me through his love. I get angry against you for that one that you have done. Nevertheless, I see something good in your life. Let's seek good things coming from God that will make God be pleased with us in our life. Na Jesu. May Jesus be with us together.
May each of us set up his request before the Lord. Do not fear. There is no fear in this life things. Be obedient to your Lord. Everything is possible to be done. In the name of Jesus. For that reason, may each of us pray. You shall receive it. You receive it from the glory of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, may each of us pray. Everlasting God, King of blessing, peaceful one, we thank you that you have been with us, you have covered us, you are making pouring rain, good rain upon our nation. You didn't allow our country to be H1 and we will be seeking and be seeking all the time. Your meekness and uh, compassion abide upon us. For the sake of your name, that's why we are acting in that sense. You remember that you yield, you begot children in this nation. That's why you remember us in a good way. We thank you. You who have been together with us in your peace, in healing, in blessing, in talking together in a good way, we thank you. You have done a lot. We shout glory be to your name in the highest. In the name of Jesus, receive our thanksgiving. Receive our praises. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord in the highest.